this is the downstairs indoor air handler. Okay, that's the plenum up there. Plenum down here. It's electric. Looks like it's one year old. I don't see a green tag or anything associated with it. We have a primary drain line and uh, it has a shallow P-trap. This drain line is not insulated. We do not have a secondary drain line or a safety switch. This is where the air filter, air filter is attached to it. It pulls out like right here and I can't tell you what the size of this air filter is. Somebody's had to modify it so somebody changed their mind about what size it was or they made a mistake or whatever but the air filter wouldn't fit so now also this is the electric service disconnect that's a good thing this is the dead front cover plate for it so we've got these things got these things going for it I'll snap that in in a moment it does not have a care and use manual. So what do we learn? Our indoor handover, downstairs indoor air handover, which is electric and installed a year ago, it does not have a green tag. It does not have a care and use manual. It does not have a secondary drain line. It does not have a safety or a float switch. Our primary drain line um, has a, a trap, a shallow P trap, and it's not insulated. Now this is the return air plenum. So this should be lined. I can't get in there. Should be lying. Is that where your air comes in? You get an air in there from the garage? It's not a good thing. Okay, so we're getting air in from the garage. And you feel all around here, you can just feel it leaking. Air conditioned air is getting into the garage too. When it's off, you know it can go in reverse. So that's what we learned. We learned that we got a leaky air plenum. Unknown air filter size. No secondary drain line, safety switch, shallow P-trap, no insulation, no carrying yeast manual.